Hello everyone, this is Lorraine and today I'm coming to you with my next nail of the day video and this is the design that I have created and hopefully you can see that and I just kind of did the opposite on the other hand um, I do have like two accent nails on each hand my middle and ring fingers on each hand I did do um, one nail matte top coat and then on the ring finger on this other hand so um, yeah so that's pretty much the design I did some flowers because um, it's spring and I don't generally do a lot of flowers but um, I did do flowers this time so first I'm going to insert a clip of the items that I use to do the stamping and now I'm just going to show you everything that I use from start to finish to complete the look so I first started off with the julep oxygen um, bonding base coat it's new it came in the April box and um, I'm not quite sure how I feel about it I had a little bit of issue applying these polishes and th that I use for this manicure and I, I use these polishes quite a bit julep in the simple colors and I don't generally have the issues that I had so I'm thinking it's the base coat I will try it out with some different polishes and then give an update about how I feel about this because mm, I'm on the fence more on the not liking it side so the one of the colors that I used um, for this manicure is this beautiful pastel peach color and this is by Simple Colors this one is called Skylark number 1200 and I absolutely love this one the color is actually gorgeous and I just did every other nail so on my left hand I have my pinky middle and thumb with the Skylark and then on my right hand I just have my ring and index fingers with Skylark um, I really like doing it that way um, doing every other nail with the um, different colors um, I like the evenness of having five and five, but not just all one hand, one color, and all hand, one, the other, the other colors. I don't know. But I really, really love this color. It screams spring and summer, and I just really, really love it. So you should definitely pick this up. Two dollars. You can't beat that price. And then the other color that I used is, um, this is also a, um, this is a new one from the April Julep box. This is um, the Liquid Holographic, and this one is called Angie, and it is from the Boho Glam Profile. Now, again, I want to mention that um, Julep generally releases nine polishes in a each monthly collection. Very frequently, they will release a tenth color. It will not be part of one of the profile boxes, nor the Polish Lovers Upgrade or the Ultimate Upgrade. You will only find it in the um, add-on section. So always make sure you look at the add-ons because you will many times find an amazing new color available only as an add-on. So this is a holographic it goes on really well I absolutely love it I would say it's probably really comparable to one of the color club silver silver holographic polishes so I'll do try to remember to do a manicure where I put use them both so you can see the differences side by side but this is a linear holographic I'm not sure why they call it liquid holographic but it does apply fairly nicely again I did have issues but I'm pretty sure it's due to the sticky base coat but I really love it, really love how the color is. And um, again, I just did every other nail. So two on this hand, three on this hand. And really love how it turned out. And it dries really, really quickly and also dries to like a satiny matte finish. But that's not, that's typical of a lot of matte, I'm sorry, a lot of holographic polishes. The Color Club dries the same way. They're holographics. And now I didn't show the application of this because it was a last minute decision to apply this. This is a fairly new um, polish. This is the Transforming Effects Top Coat from Revlon. And this one, wow, doesn't even, okay. It's number 785 Matte Pearl Glaze.
and this is what it looks like. It has like a um, kind of like purpley magenta effect to it. And what I did was apply this over one nail on each hand. On my left hand, I applied it on the middle finger before I did my stamping. And then I applied it on my ring finger before I did my stamping. Um, you can't really see the purple, but in, um, in the pictures, I'm hoping you'll be able to see it. But when I look at it, I can really, really see the purple um, magenta um, effect over it and it does give a really nice um, matte look. I really like it. So again, I apply this and I didn't put any top coat on before, a glossy top coat on before this. But over the rest of my nails, before I do stamping, I always apply a top coat in case I mess up. I can take it off without having to reapply my base coat and the two coats of color. So I am using my Dory Mirror Coat um, top coat. Again, I apply this on every finger except for my ring and my middle finger on this hand before I did any stamping. And then for my stamping, I just use the same colors because I like for them to really, really coordinate and match. So um, the Simple Colors Skylark wasn't extremely opaque over top of the silver, but it did. I actually liked how it turned out because it didn't overpower the holographic silver. It's like just the perfect amount of pigment. So I stamped with Skylark over top of Angie and Angie over top of Skylark. So this is what that looks like and it gives a really great hollow effect. So, um, and then for my final top coats, I also apply another matte top coat. This is the Julep Matte Top Coat, and I just applied this over my ring and middle fingers, my two matte fingers, because I wanted to keep those matte. Um, so, and I really love this matte top coat. This is probably one of my favorite ones. I also like the NYC Matte, Matte Me Crazy. This one is really nice. Both of those I really like. Then again, the NYC one, much much less expensive. This is like one ninety seven at like Target and Walmart. And then for the final top coat over the other nails, I use my IBD UV fast drying top coat. I cured it under my lamp for um, two minutes. And um, another thing I did want to mention um, is. For cleanup, this liquid latex is absolutely amazing. It comes in a jar like this. You can get it in different colors. I got this off of Amazon. It was, I think, like $10, $9.99 or something like that. And it is a four-ounce jar. It was filled to the brim. And you get just tons of product. You will have this for a long time. You can also get this cheaper if you get one of the, you know, off-brand, like, not off-brand, but other, like, colors they had which I don't know why I just didn't get the purple one because it was like half the price it was like $4.99 but for whatever reason I grabbed the white they have like flesh tone pink purple um, I think I'm not sure what other colors but those are the main colors that I did see but again for um, $9.99 for the white one and this one is by just liquid latex fashions um, there are other versions of this I'm sure that you could buy also I think you can get this at party city I'm not sure of the cost, but that is, oh, let me not forget the stamping plate. And then for my stamping plate, this is actually one that I recently purchased. This one is the Sheikah Beauty Shop, and it is the Infinity Nails line. And this is plate number 69. I don't know if you'll be able to see that but again it is plate number 69 and I use these two images here this one here is a cutout of this one which I and so I use the this one the more fuller one on my middle finger and ring fingers and then I use the cutout version on the rest of my nails so I really really like the cutout in the opposite whatever negative space whatever you call it but I really really like those so yeah that is everything I use sorry this is kind of long but hmm, I feel like I'm out of the swing of things it's been seems like so long since I've done my nail of the day video but 
Anyway, that's everything that I use from start to finish to do my manicure. Um, let me know what you think and I will have pictures. Hopefully they'll be a little bit more visible. You can see the design better in the pictures um, because I know it's hard to see with the holographic and since the peach color isn't extremely opaque when I stamped it. But um, again, if you subscribe if you have not already. Also, don't forget to go into your settings and check the little box that will give you email notifications letting you know when I have uploaded my next video. So you don't miss anything. Um, I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys um, at the moment. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, so thanks for watching. Stay polished at all times and have a fabulous day. Bye.